How's it going, everyone? Maximilian here, and back after a week away into uh, making videos and providing daily content that you might be familiar with from before. And uh, after my little Thanksgiving vacation, I had a really curious email that I received in my inbox um, that was explaining to me about some elements in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 that I'm unaware of, and that almost anyone else's as well, and it's actually on the disc. So, um, he gave me a little bit of information, but didn't exactly explain what it was, and I, I could not believe it when I actually fired the thing up and got it working, that this is actually on the disc. So, okay, so here's, here's what he told me. He pretty much said that in the initial mode menu of the game, you go into options, and then from options, you're gonna go in and set your voice setting. So this is like the English-Japanese setting for the Capcom characters, and you have to set them a specific way. Um, once you set them this specific way, you've got to be online with your system. Now, what you're going to do after you set them this way, save it, and then reboot your console. Uh, when you come back from the rebooted console, the DLC thing will show up. I don't know if this works on PlayStation, because I haven't tried it yet, but the DLC menu will pop up, and it'll show all the latest DLC items. At the time, it was like the latest costume pack that came out while I was gone, and the previous costume packs from before. And if you notice in here, it's different. It says, The Real Doom at the top and you can't select it you can't do anything and i didn't exactly know what to do with this so uh what he explained to me is after you do this process choose dr doom as the character and then go into the game so i'm gonna make a little bit of an edit a cut right here we're gonna jump into the game and i'm gonna record myself live if this is actually what i think it is so here we go we're in training mode using dr doom uh against sentinel or whatever uh so let's see if <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait, are you, are you what? Uh, I can't believe they did it. They actually replaced Doctor Doom's voiceover. Oh my God, it's so bad. Well, let's go through it and see what's actually changed. Uh, let's roll through some special moves. Wind blast! Wind blast! Wind blast! Wind blast! to the end, baby! Rocks to the end, baby! Rocks to the end, baby! Yeah! Rocks to the end! Rocks to the end, baby! Foot dive! Foot dive! Foot dive! Foot 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 foot! I am so top tier! Whoa, 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 wait, if you do three foot dives in a row, he says he's top tier? Oh, this is ridiculous. I know Doom got better in this game, but give me a break. Doom? Doom? How much did you have to pay Capcom for this? Oh, whatever. I'm gonna see if there's anything different about the assists or his win quotes, so give me just a sec. Get your ass out here! Where's Mega Man? Go get him, buddies! Doom needs more yogurt! Ah, get out here! Jeez, you think after 10 years they give Doom a worthy adversary? It's a good thing you're in Marvel 3! Cause no one would have touched you in part two! Don't be a new Darkstalkers game before you get up from that! I... Uh, I can't believe this is on the disc. How... How the hell do you ship a game with this on the disc? Oh, we, we didn't even use his level three. Uh, let me... Let's see what his level three does. It plays the finale of the Wesker and Doom fight? Are you friggin' me? 